I always resisted social media because I thought my area of interest, which is philosophy, is not compatible with social media. Because philosophy is so much about taking your time, uh, being conscious, being critical, you know, thinking deeply, being patient, you know, really digesting information. And content in, in social media is so fast, it's so microwave, you know, it's so vague and banal and superficial. And I always felt, okay, so social media is not for philosophy. And for me, it was a really pivotal point where I found out that like, we can't resist the changes in technology. There were philosophers, and there's actually a text about it, that when textbooks were invented, philosophers said that it was the end of memory. They say that because we invented textbooks, people are going to stop remembering things because everything is written down. So I think this fatalist approach to life, where we see a new technology and we say, oh my God, it's over. You know, like AI, oh my God, artists are going to run out of business because AI is going to destroy everything. I think that fatalist point of view is not original and it's not true. What we have to understand is that the medium itself is part of the message, but the content behind the medium is what is really important and it is what we should strive uh, to perpetuate and in a way keep relevant. So I felt if I can take the challenge to make philosophy relevant in social media, that's interesting for me. That's creative enough to, to challenge me and to take me into, into that arena. And, and I, found, I found it really surprising because at the beginning I thought, well, I'm always going to be niche. I'm never going to be big. You know, I'm not going to be a relevant uh, content creator in Latin America. And now I'm top three in Spotify in Latam, like uh, the millions of people follow me. And I'm talking about super strange, super niche conversation topic, talking points. You know, Hegel was a trending topic in Twitter for a month because of me. And nobody reads Hegel. That's insane. You know, like, it doesn't make any sense. And I felt, well, so there's something behind this, you know. I think if people stop predisposing themselves to the stereotypes of the limits of technology, then you can really find what you can do with it. And I think that was the pivotal point for me. Because the challenge, the creative challenge of reinventing the, the talking points to adapt to the technology medium was what really like triggered like, my itch to, to say the point.